Gaming Bolt presents 15 video games with amazing facial animation. Many of us aren't usually trifled with facial animations in games, but whether they're awesome or average, there's an obsessive amount of work that goes into them. We've decided to highlight 15 games with some of the best facial animations and which definitely don't go all uncanny valley on us, for the most part. The Last of Us Though the developers' previous games have been recognized for their sheer production quality, Naughty Dog had a much bigger task on hand with The Last of Us. To that end, it turned to a joint-based facial rig for expressions. Using a facial action coding system, higher mesh density, and pupil dilation, Naughty Dog was able to add more creases to the characters' faces and emotion to the eyes. You wouldn't think it could get better, but it did. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End Naughty Dog seemingly raised the bar with The Last of Us. However, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End went even further, leveraging the power of the PS4 and featuring characters with some 300 to 500 bones in their faces. These bones allowed for greater emotive function, both on a smaller and larger scale. Coupled with the fact that animations are sampled at 30 frames per second, and it's no wonder that Nathan's expressions as he gets hurt or climbs up a cliff look so damn realistic. L.A. Noir, Perhaps one of the best examples of facial animation in gaming, Rockstar's L.A. Noir utilized motion scan from depth analysis. It saw its actors recorded by 32 cameras from multiple angles, thus creating an intricate amount of detail. While resource hungry and taking up quite the amount of space, it made the game's integral interrogation sequences all the more involving. Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes, and The Phantom Pain. Kojima Productions, both as part of Konami and separate, has always been meticulous about its facial animations. Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes, and The Phantom Pain stand as the height of this quality, with care taken for eye movement, expressions, and lip syncing. Given the series' cinematic nature and sheer scale, it's incredible to see this level of facial animation throughout both games. Heavenly Sword Establishing itself quickly as a studio with premium cutscenes, animations, and production, Heavenly Sword went all out with its facial animations. Along with utilizing Havoc physics and Havoc animation to craft its expressions, Ninja Theory also enlisted famed motion capture artist Andy Serkis, better known as the man who played Gollum, for Hollywood-level acting in cutscenes. The sheer dedication to the facial animations would actually be more apparent in the developer's next game. Enslaved Odyssey to the West With Enslaved Odyssey to the West, Ninja Theory stepped up the complexity of its motion capture. Andy Serkis returned, as did the extensive motion capture from Heavenly Sword. Only this time, the technology became advanced enough to warrant a mathematician for some of the coding. This complex motion capture brought out better performances in the story, and that became all the more apparent when, say, Monkey is attempting to console Trip during her lowest point. Assassin's Creed Unity For all of the flack that Assassin's Creed Unity received at launch for its performance issues and glitches, the game was undeniably gorgeous. This manifested in the animation department as well, and no, not those creepy broken expressions with textures missing. We're talking about the attention paid to NPCs who would have entire conversations on the streets, or the hauntingly real expressions that Elise has at times. It's not perfect, but in terms of facial animations, Unity is definitely up top. Injustice 2 Though the all-round quality of facial animation in Injustice 2 is excellent, special attention was paid to the female fighters, especially Supergirl and Harley Quinn. Along with implementing more symmetrical features and lightning to soften the expressions, makeup techniques were also applied to make the women look all the more realistic. The results are undeniably amazing. Grand Theft Auto V Despite being more than a three-year-old game, Grand Theft Auto V still impressed us with its facial animation. The sheer range of expression was pretty nuanced, from Trevor's perpetually manic face to Michael's midlife crisis. This range of expression carried over to the wide range of NPCs in Los Santos, and though it may not be as graphically superior today, Grand Theft Auto V's facial animations still hold up. Infamous Second Son For Infamous Second Son, Sucker Punch actually brought in Digital Domain, a visual effects company that's worked on movies like Thor, Deadpool, and X-Men Apocalypse for motion capture. The overall approach was extensive, as HD cameras scanned more than 75 individuals with strobe lights for the most accurate representation of faces. 
The facial animations further up the realism with actors portraying their emotions in the most straightforward yet understated way possible. Rise, Son of Rome Crytek's Rise, Son of Rome may not have had a ton of high points, but one of them was definitely the facial animations. Cubic Motion was responsible for the brilliant expressions and used its own custom workflow based on the research of PhD experts. Overall, Rise, Son of Rome impressed us with its sheer depth of tracking, capturing a range of emotions from anger to worry. The Order 1886 From the beginning till today, Ready at Dawn's The Order 1886 remains an impressive showcase for its visuals. The facial animations were top tier almost from the word go, and Ready at Dawn deserves further credit for seamlessly transitioning from real-time gameplay to cutscenes and back. Sure, the overall game disappointed, but it still strikes a chord for fans with a moody, gothic, steampunk aesthetic. Halo 5 Guardians Even though a number of entities in Halo 5 Guardians would be wearing helmets or otherwise not shown, we still witnessed an impressive array of emotions. Cortana's thrusting tones when attempting to persuade Chief, Locke's stern resolve, and Buck's usual swashbuckling were given ample room to shine thanks to the quality of cutscenes and facial animations. Now, if only the rest of the story matched up. Quantum Break It took a while to come out, but Quantum Break's visuals were on point. The game used DI4D from Dimensional Imaging, and actually allowed actors to be scanned in three dimensions as they performed. Nine cameras shooting at 60 frames per second didn't just result in realistic animations. DI4D also delivered on the facial animations, right down to an individual character's dimple and eye roll. Beyond Two Souls We've finally come to Quantic Dream's Beyond Two Souls, whose animations took a solid year of shooting with more than 100 actors providing performances, including Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe. Numerous facial animations were scanned in order to create realistic wrinkles. Five animators focused solely on facial animations and dialogue using direct drive rigs, using bone translations from the animation rigs to accurately capture the expressions. With all of the work Beyond Two Souls took, it's no wonder Detroit to Become Human has been in development for so long. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.